Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another learning video. If you are here for the first time, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you will get new updates and new learning videos as soon as I post it. Okay, so in today's session, we are going to learn about how to configure any connect VPN on FTD platform using Cisco FMC. So in the remote access VPN configuration, I'm going to use a SAML for authentication. I know uh, other than SAML, the Cisco FTD along with the FMC supports AAA as a configuration, I mean AAA authentication as well. Uh, but I'm going to use SAML for the sake of a learning video today. Okay, let's get on to this session now. I'm here on the FMC console. Before you start to create the remote access VPN configuration wizard, you need to consider few things as preliminary actions and dependent areas that uh, will enable you to configure the remote access VPN wizard. First thing, you need to have the AnyConnect image already uploaded into the FMC. Second, the interfaces should need to be configured already on the FTD firewall. Meaning, uh, if we have inside and the outside only, you just need to configure those for you to enable the remote access VPN configuration wizard to get complete and then authentication server so like i mentioned before i'm going to uh, use a saml authentication uh, for any connect so please make sure that the saml authentication server are also configured already i already made another video how to configure saml authentication for ftd any connect uh, authentication i will put that link in the description so you'll be able to um, uh, find that uh, separate uh, video for configuring the SAML uh, configuration in a detailed manner. But just for uh, understanding purpose, I'm going to showcase that uh, SAML configuration over here in this so that you will be able to correlate the configuration while we are going to configure the remote access VPN wizard. Okay, let's get started. On the FMC console, click on object, object management. And then once you are there, click on the AAA server on the left side and when you click on that single sign-on server you'll be able to uh, create the single sign-on server i mean the saml server like i mentioned before i have a separate video made for comparing this stuff alone in very detailed manner so i'm going to use this uh, saml configuration for the remote access vpn wizard so in this the Record parameters are already configured. Okay, so these are all if you follow the other video You'll be able to complete this step without any sim uh, single hesitance Okay, so considering that this is completed already and secondly before even we start uh, the remote access VPN configuration you need to make sure that you are adding the service provider certificate and idp provider certificate into the um, fire vpn firewall where you are going to configure the remote access vpn wizard again i already explained what is a service provider uh, uh, certificate and uh, idp provider certificate in the other video uh, you'll be able to understand more uh, and detail in that video section okay so before even we configure the remote access VPN wizard, you need to assign this, assign the uh, certificates manually by following this section here. Select the certificate and click add. So by doing so, it will be assigned or installed. This is called trust points. Service provider trust point and identity provider uh, trust point will get installed. And then you, uh, you then need to deploy the configuration and then come back to the console and now let let us also complete a couple of other portion see here as soon as you come back to fmc 
click on the remote access and then uh, click on add okay by doing so you, you will be starting the remote access vpn wizard i'm just configuring this with uh, some vague name test vp under vpn protocols if you are going to use only ssl just please select that uh, if you are going to use ipsec also you can uh, appropriately select and then the device you wanted to add i mean the firewall then here it talks about the things that i mentioned before you need to have the authentication server ready client package any kind of client package already uploaded and the device interface so ensure that you complete these details before you start this vpn wizard click next so i have completed this setup already so i'm going to explain this new uh, i mean in the wizard itself which i have completed already if you go back here i have created the uh, connection profile if i click there connection profile you can name it as whatever uh, you want then the group policy before we jump out to the uh, group policy we'll see the connection profile under connection profile connection profile is nothing but the tunnel group the tunnel group is where you will mention the uh, uh, the vpn pool information as soon as we get connected to the vpn we will get the ip address assigned from that specific tunnel group so you have to mention the range that is going to be assigned for this particular uh, tunnel group and then click on the AAA. like i mentioned i have selected the saml for authentication it also supports AAA client certificate and client certificate with AAA. I'm, I'm going to use the saml for my authentication here and then we have already created this uh, saml server as i shown you before the step just to select that in the drop down list main thing we need to consider here version 6.7 of ftd will only support authentication it will not support authorization or accounting so cisco mentioned mentioned that they will be releasing authorization and accounting portion in the later version uh, that is coming up uh, in the spring or uh, later spring uh, 2021 by then i think uh, we can start using these uh, authorization accounting fields but for now only authentication is supported you can also double check this in the release notes in the um, uh, version 6.7 of uh, ftd os and in the aliases section what we will be creating alias is just a naming convention that you are using for that connection profile to be used so here just click on hit button and just name it whatever you want and click this box as enabled then submit it and then url aliases is very very important url that you need to configure here this is where the people will use to connect to the vpn firewall to connect the vpn so you have to click plus button and click add just name it as whatever you want and then the dns name of uh, the firewall that you are going to configure uh, the vpn uh, configuration and then save it apply it okay the group policy group policy is where you will configure certain other information pertaining to that tunnel group so we are selected ssl and the ip pool will also be automatically assigned by the tunnel group and then banner based on the banner banner type we want your company basis you'll you can assign and then here comes the uh, uh, another main part you will be able to assign the primary uh, dns server secondary dns server primary win server secondary win server so these are purely based on your network uh, requirement if you if you think that your vpn should need to use uh, vpn users should need to use your uh, corporate uh, dns server then you can go ahead and configure it if not we have option to um, select uh, the default dns as the the home network dns but here i'm using i'm configuring this vpn any kind of vpn as split tunnel include uh, include means i wanted to send only certain domains into uh, the tunnel rest of internet traffic should flow through my local internet so which means it's a split tunnel vpn within the split tunneling we have two types tunnel include and tunnel exclude so tunnel include means whatever the domains you wanted to allow through the tunnel you'll be uh, selecting this and whatever the tunnel whatever the domains you don't want to send it to um, the corporate vpn 
I mean over the full tunnel you can specify it there so my corporate requirement is um, occurring to specify the domains that I wanted to send it to corporate so I'm selecting that and in the list of uh, subnets that are uh, um, part of my corporate network I have created that as a standard access list already and I'm just selecting that list as a drop down list here okay and then under any connect client profile client profile is where you will upload the XML file that will have the domain information the DNS information of uh, the VPN box that you will connect so this is also you can create it here or since I have that already I have selected here so all you just need to mention here as name it as whatever you want and browse that XML file and uh, put it I mean upload it here that's it and then management profile so most likely this may not be used because management VPN tunnel ensures connectivity to the corporate network whenever the endpoint is powered up even if end user does not connect over VPN so this is only for the administrative people I don't think uh, we might need it here I'm going to skip this for now and this particular one if you use a dot or Cisco uh, uh, NAC, ICE Posture, Network Visibility, Umbrella, Web Security, those situations, if you have those, you can enable it. If not, you can just skip it. So I don't have those uh, for my infrastructure. I'm just skipping that. And SSL settings, you can select whatever is applicable for your uh, infrastructure. So I have selected a DTLS uh, compression for a local to uh, LTS format and under uh, connection settings based on my corporate requirement i have selected uh, i mean configured these uh, parameters keep alive messages three every 300 seconds and date peer reduction every 300 sec second and uh, same for the client side as well At, under advanced session settings we are allowing two sessions per uh, user id then uh, 1200 minutes for the maximum connection time meaning it, it's it will last long up to 20 hours it will also uh, ideal time out if user did not send any traffic to the VPN tunnel after 60 minutes so this is the group policy information i think as soon as you complete this connection profile and the group policy information you are all set your vpn wizard is completed you have vpn profile i mean the tunnel group name saml authent triple a meaning uh, this is a saml authentication server and then the group policy and you will be assigning that uh, uh, the whole set of configuration to a specific device that's it and then uh, click deploy it will get pushed that's it thank you so much if you have any questions please uh, don't forget to mention in the uh, comment section so that uh, i'll be able to clarify your questions uh,